Hi guys, welcome to today's video. I'm Tati, I'm an editor. Today I'm remaking a very popular video that went kind of viral on this channel a while ago and it's still trending kind of today. This is my first part to a series on how to use After Effects for beginners. In this series, you're gonna learn the basics of After Effects, getting familiar with it, how to make an edit, and I mean, that's like, that's basically it. I'm remaking this series because the other one is very old and outdated. I still think it's a very good video and I'm very proud of that video, but I think I have more to add and I can explain it in an even better way. And I just wanna keep this channel up to date and I wanna continue that series because I was supposed to do a whole part series to that but it kind of got abandoned because i did a bunch of other stuff on this channel so in today's video i just want to let you guys know you're not going to be making an edit for my guide on how to use after effects as a beginner i'd like to start by saying that getting familiar with after effects is very important like what everything is what everything does etc that's like your main focus when you're learning it i have downloaded and deleted after effects a total of seven times in my editing career before i officially switched to it because i used to use video star so i know exactly how frustrating after effects can be people who always say like it's easy and stuff to learn you have to know that not everybody is a crazy editing geek and knows everything that there is you know what i mean so so this is the first part to that series and i really hope that you guys enjoy the video and also if you have any questions you can say them down below i really hope that the point of this video is that you won't have to use another one again i want to answer all your guys' questions that typically beginners have in this video if there's any more that i missed comment them down below and before i let you guys go i have to roll my beloved commercial that we haven't seen in a very long time it feels like hello there like most editors i have a pay hip now granted most of the things on my pay hip i already have tutorials on my youtube channel for however if you're lazy or just want to support me i have a numerous amount of resources and presets on my pay hip that includes my popular glitch style pack my shake pack and even colorings plus more if the prices are too much for you you are not obligated to buy it but if you do thank you so much and enjoy hi guys welcome to your very first after effects lesson i want to clarify that this is indeed a series this is part one of the series of learning after effects and this is just part one which i'm going to call getting familiar as i said in the previous clips i heavily believe that understanding where everything is what the basics do and just kind of getting comfortable with how after effects looks and feels is the most important step if you jump in unless you're like a super cool kid and can just jump into anything um getting familiar with it is super important so you feel less overwhelmed and that is what we're going to be doing today is just getting familiar like i said this is after effects 2022 no matter what version you have it's always going to look similar to this layout i really want to answer as many beginner questions as i can we have our layout so let's just say you pops up like this you would go to new project right so composition is kind of like where you make the edit somebody posted a comment on my video i'll see if i can find it they explained what composition is pretty well but composition is essentially just your project aka your edit so if you go here new composition from footage this is where you can directly uh, import your footage if you want um, but I just typically go with new composition and here we have composition settings so I'm just gonna show you what matters if I skip over anything it's probably not that important for a beginner right now so we have the width and the height is 1080 by 1080 this will make a square if I quickly push ok as you can see this makes a square if I go back to composition settings, we can do 1920 by 1080, and that will make a nice little rectangle. Um, depending on what you're editing for, you can use either or. I typically use 1080 by 1080 because I mainly post on TikTok as of right now, and that's typically what we use on there. Um, there's other composition settings that you can use over time as you get more familiar with things. Square, as a beginner, is probably best. It's uh, less workspace, which is kind of a good thing when you want to do something basic. If you can't put in 1080 by 1080, it's most likely that you have lock aspect ratio on make sure that this is unchecked so that you can fully you know adjust your settings how you want it to pixel aspect ratio is typically square pixel there's three types of frame rates that we use in tiktok and instagram editing um and that's 23.976 this is probably the most common or used to be the most common i think that 60 fps is probably the most common i can't really tell you the differences between them all distinctly 30 is more smoother than 23.976 and then 60 is more smoother than 30. if you want it to be the smoothest <laughs> 
sorry if you want it to be the smoothest then 60 fps aka frame rate is the best option for you i used to use 30 it wasn't that bad but with my twixter i wanted it to be smooth and 60 is what i just stuck with if you don't want twixter it's essentially like a slow motion for your clips except it's way smoother than regular slow motion but we'll get into all that at different time um resolution is going to be quarter and i'll expand more on resolution in the future but for now just keep it at a quarter and then we have the time code and then the duration so mine's just at 30 seconds and you can just change it to whatever you want it to be but i'll put out 30 seconds background color is always going to be black now we're just going to push ok and since you already saw the square this is just basically what we're working with one question i want to answer is that let's just say your square is all the way back here right you can basically manipulate the square by moving across like your mouse or your trackpad but um i didn't really fully recognize that when i was a beginner let's just say you don't have a trackpad for a mouse for some strange reason i don't know um you can go to this corner right here and you can do fit up to 200 percent or you can just do fit and that's just going to make it you know be the most centered it can be uh, without being like too small or too big so i'll just go to fit that's very important because you need to be able to see every aspect of whatever clip you're going to insert in later always above here always make sure that it's on default if you click any of these other extra ones it's going to just lay after effects out in a different uh, position than most editors have it so always make sure that's on default if you ever somehow get confused by it go to window and you can just probably go to workspace and do default in case something gets mixed up or something when you're on default you'll have a bunch of these little boxes um, that do different things but mainly what we'll focus on is effects and presets this is where you're going to add in the future your blurs your exposures all the effects that make your edit basically an edit it won't have as many of these little effects as you see here bcc and other things that is because i have a lot of plugins plugins are very common in editing and almost an essential i highly advise that once you're familiar with after effects in the layout you will want to jump into downloading plugins immediately because every tutorial on how to actually make an edit is going to require plugins part two of this series I'm definitely going to have you guys put in some plugins, most likely. If you don't know how to download plugins, you don't know what to get, definitely go search TikTok and look up how to get plugins for After Effects. Um, I can personally not help you. YouTube won't allow me to. It'll take down the video anyway. So all I can really tell you is use your resources, use the internet, and figure out how to get plugins. A lot of Discord servers have uh, places where you can get plugins. You don't have to worry about these other boxes, really. Um, until the time comes this is just gonna be your main thing let's go over to the left we have project so we have our composition aka the project right here and if we upload footage then you would be able to preview it right here most of the time we're not on this slide though you can organize your clips and stuff in this uh, area but we don't really focus on that or at least I don't I go straight to effects so when I would add an effect to a clip it would be seen and adjusted in this area up here we have a lot of effects as well um the main ones that we use is the selection tool the pen tool the rectangle tool the text tool and depending on what you're editing you can use the others as well but the ones that just listed is the ones that typically like basic editors use another good thing is sometimes i'll accidentally push like a letter on my keyboard and the letters can be shortcuts so for example if i push y it'll give me the anchor point tool and let's just say you didn't mean for that to happen you'll just go up here and push the selection tool which is just your basic mouse down here right this is your main workspace where you're going to be chopping up clips putting things in position etc and i'll show you that very very soon but i'm just letting you know what this is, is this whole thing is how long you made your edit um we have some more things here that don't really matter until you get to for real for real editing now we're going to import a clip this seems to be a very common question how do i import clips into after effects and it is very very easy guys so for example if i want to import a clip i will just go to my downloads and finder or your desktop wherever your clips are located and then i will just drag it it's already in here and like i said earlier if we go back to the project slide your clips and everything that you put into the project it's gonna go here i can move if you just hold down on the clip you can move it around if yours doesn't move freely like this it's most likely that you have on snapping which kind of helps for positioning things a bit better and not so loosely so you want to just keep that in mind if it's not moving around to your liking you can just turn snapping off um so this is what videos look like imported into after effects it's just this one colorful line um yours may look different because i kind of change my colors from time to time but 
uh yeah it'll just look like this you don't need to know what these are yet until you actually start editing like i said we're just getting familiar but i will tell you something that we kind of use commonly in this section is this symbol is motion blur you don't really know what motion blur is like i said but you will one day another thing over here is you can mute the footage like so by clicking the audio button you can also uh hide the footage by clicking the i button another question beginners commonly have is why is my clip blurry because you'll download a 4k or 1080p clip right and here it just looks very blurry so that is because it's on quarter we put our edits on quarter while we're editing to kind of not give our computer a breakdown um if we put it on full and edit on full you're adding a bunch of effects and after effects is going to perform at its highest um and it's just too much so while you're editing you put it on quarter but overall don't worry about rendering and it coming out like this because when you learn how to render properly it'll it'll render with the highest quality okay let's just say my clip looked like this right how do i zoom it out so you're gonna push s on your keyboard and you would just adjust something called scale and that's just how it zooms in it zooms out that's just how it looks and i usually zoom out my clips a little bit so it fits the square entirely same with moving let's just say you don't want to move it with your mouse you would click the letter p on your keyboard and you can move it like this now let's just say we only want this clip right so we have to split it so we're gonna click command shift d that's the settings on mac then we have the clip that i want and now we're gonna go over to where we want this part of the clip to end and we're gonna do command shift d once more and delete the rest then you would drag it at the beginning of your timeline or whatever the audio it's, it, it's hard to explain because you're not there yet but i'm showing you the motion so you're not completely confused when we start making full edits um but yeah so you just split a clip and got it to be alone essentially to make sure that our clip stays in this position and in this scale we have to do something called pre-composing so you would do command shift c that's the settings on mac and you would go to move all attributes into new composition and also make sure that this is checked we don't do we never really check any of these other ones off it's just typically this one what this does is so that when you add future effects nothing about the position or the scale of the original thing we just pre-composed changes it's kind of a hard concept to understand that's the best way to explain it always pre-compose after mainly everything let's just say you click the button mess something up and now your after effects looks really weird and you don't know what to do you're gonna go to window and you're gonna go to workspace reset to default saved layout and boom everything is fixed you're gonna have to open effects and presets again or something but everything for the most part is fixed in case you mess something up also if you accidentally do something like this let's just say i moved that over there and you're like oh my gosh i don't know how to put it back you can simply do command z command z doesn't always work um but majority of the time it does but sometimes you could really mess something up that commands he has no control over we're not gonna learn how to use effects or anything but i want to add one so you can kind of see so i'm gonna add exposure to this clip it's gonna be in the effects and controls panel this is how you kind of adjust it through the numbers and such we're not gonna learn i don't even want to like show you guys this because we're not learning that today but i just want to show you what that would look like and where you would search for the effects another thing i want to quickly mention in case let's just say you see how these there's two blue marks one at the beginning one at the very end of your timeline so let's just say we're playing this clip and then it goes black right let's just say we don't want it to do that this at the very end and we would move it to where our clip stops that way it just repeats and we don't have to do a lot of extra work now it's also in case like you have a clip just going over and over and just repeating um these are probably somewhere they shouldn't be that's part one of learning after effects i call it getting familiar and you guys can go back over to the other tati welcome back to me how was the video i will be sure to pass that criticism along thank you guys so much for watching and i hope that this video really helped you i can't wait to get into the other future videos of this series once again any questions let me know okay i love you bye